diabetes. Diabetes is a systemic condition that affects many parts of the body. One of the first areas that diabetes affects is the kidneys and the eyes. However, changes can be seen in the eyes but not for the kidneys. Diabetes affects these organs first due to their small microvasculature system. The eye doesn't actually see objects. Instead, it sees reflected light from the objects. The reflected light enters your eyes to land on the retina. The retina is the structure that converts light into an electrical signal and transmits that signal to the brain through the cable called the optic nerve. The brain processes the signal into the image that we see. In order for the structures of the eye to function properly, there needs to be an efficient vasculature system that brings oxygen and nutrients to these components of the eye. One of the most common eye problems for patients is a condition called diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy deals with high levels of sugars in the bloodstream that damages the tight junctions of the inner lining of blood vessels. In early stages of the disease, the damage to the blood vessel lining will cause leakage of blood, plasma, and exudates or proteins. As a result, it may generate infarcted areas or areas of swelling that may or may not affect the vision. As the retinopathy progresses, the perfusion of blood to the retina depletes, causing hypoxia. Thus, the body will release VEGF to stimulate the production of new fragile blood vessels in an attempt to increase oxygen and nutrients to the retina. These fragile blood vessels, known as neovascularization, are more susceptible to breaks and bleeds. If blood is found in the eye, then it will impede light rays from reaching the retina, causing vision to decrease. If these blood vessels grow anteriorly into the vitreous, it can cause a retinal detachment that can make a person go blind. This is why it's important to monitor diabetes and detect subtle signs so we can prevent progression. Most of the time, patients with diabetic retinopathy will be asymptomatic. It is important to have a dilated fundus exam or digital imaging of the retina.